Hey guys, it's Ryan, Tokyo Fun Hunter, coming at you from Tokyo, Japan. I am joined by the one and only Yuki. Hi, again. Yuki has been kind enough to join us again. Uh, I think she was a little nervous the first time, and now she's uh, she's she was feeling like you know I want to get to give it another shot. Yeah. I which try. is great. Which is great. So today we're gonna talk about a little bit of cultural differences, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you've lived in New Zealand. America and you know you're born and raised in Japan. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think are the big? What do you think of Americans? Americans. Uh, living in Japan right now. What do you? Or just the Westerners, I should say. Yeah. What is your impression of Westerners living in Japan? Westerners. Yeah. Like, you know, they're wearing t-shirts all the time. <laughs> they're wearing. We're wearing t-shirts all the time. Yeah, when it's cold. <laughs> That's right. We gotta show off the gun. <laughs> it's a way to show it. Yeah, I'm I'm a furry guy in Japan. <laughs> Keeps me warm. <laughs> yeah. What else? I don't know. I gotta think. I kind of feel I know. I, I we I like to keep them what spontaneous. What do I think of a Westerners living in Japan? Oh, Japanese. Yeah. I think I did a previous video. I think a little bit on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of believe that there's like three different types of foreigners oh, living in Japan. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. Well, we talked about it off screen too. Mm -hmm. I think you asked me once, and, and it's it's kind of like I believe there's expats that you know there's international business people that come to Japan and they're kind of their companies here, and they're 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 great. I've had a, I've met a lot of them that love the experience. Yeah. It was kind of like a nice turn in life that made him come here. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like their first choice was like, all right, the company sent me, but I'll make the most of it. The second ones are kind of like, I kind of feel like my type of guys yeah. are people that are excited about living in Japan, that want adventure experience, mm -hmm. have done English teaching, have done diff different different yeah. uh, styles and, and different things. It's been really, really cool. And then there's like that third type that's just Weirders. weird people, man. <laughs> there are... Uh, I, I, I don't know. There, there are a few universe. weird people. Yeah. yeah, there's a few guys, and it's a, it's a kind of a stereotype. Yeah. Um, and I get asked that too, like you know, Ryan, do you, yeah. do you just like Asian girls or what's yeah. up? It's actually no. I've actually, I mean, I've dated Japanese girls, but mm -hmm. I've actually dated foreign girls too. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of just when you live in a country that's only usually Asian people, it kind of comes with the territory. <laughs> uh, that wasn't yeah. the reason for me. I I mm -hmm. was actually more influenced by the outdoors. Um, to come here, mm -hmm. getting off topic because I, I just start rambling. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, but that's kind of like what I my impression of Westerners in, in mm -hmm. Japan. Um, there's kind of different categories, um, and there's a there's a lot of great people. Yeah, I, you know, a lot of my a lot of cool people that you know we both know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that once in a while you meet a guy that's like, whoa, what? some weird some weird view. <laughs> yeah, that's weirdos. What do you think? I don't know. They think they can get a girls. Okay. Because of their foreigners. Ah. I, it. it helps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they come here. Mm. But I think it, when they like if they come here only for girls. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. You don't want to mm. be doing that because I mean, you know, half the planet's with it. <laughs> you can go anywhere. Yeah. Well, what was the topic? We were talking about westerners in Japan. Trying. <laughs> I'm trying. She's trying. She's she's nervous, and yeah, I understand. Yeah. It's I know it's kind of like if you if you've never been in front of video, it might be a little yeah. And That's especially I know you, I know you want to be kind of uh, anonymous, which yeah. is fine. That's cool. Uh, all right. What do you? What do you? Okay, for guys that want to come to Japan uh -huh. for girls, do you have a message for them? Message for them. Do you have a message? Let's Wait. call them out right here. <laughs> Just be normal. <laughs> just be normal. Yeah, don't it's be great advice. Waiters. Stop it, guys. Yeah. Just be normal. Find a job. <laughs> I find a job. Yeah, here. Is the there line. a lot of? They don't have jobs. Like they're normal, like English teacher. Mm. You know. Well, I mean, I was that, an English teacher yeah, for a while. After that, you can find a job, but some people just do an English teacher. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't think that's that bad. I mean, yeah, I was. It's not that bad, but it's just like a, like English teacher, and that's it. Like they that's like that's that. the grand. Well, you know that's tough because um, yeah. it is the number one job in mm -hmm. Japan for foreigners. Uh, personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with English teaching if you're if you, if if you are if that's what you love to do if that's mm -hmm. your passion, totally. As well as like, hey, if it gets your foot in the door for coming to Japan, I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Was that a good point or like you know <laughs> like a, like don't listen to him or <laughs> I can't tell. No. 
first job is good, but after that, if you love it, it's good, and then if you don't, you gotta find a job. Well, what do you recommend they do? Anything. <laughs> well, my friend was working as an engineer. Engineer. After that, uh, English teaching. I mean, only really recently have you seen kind of more people in the IT and digital yeah. realm. It's, it, and I mean, like in the last couple of years, where you see a lot more influx because that is the new industry, and a lot of companies are yeah. hiring, and a lot of them can do a freelance. Yeah. Most of them. Yep. Anything else? Cool job. Yeah. What do you recommend? <laughs> All right. Uh, how about this? If you thought, like, okay, uh, to be to be cool in Japan. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to stand out from the crowd, what is a job that people would be like, whoa, that's a cool job for a foreigner to have? So, all right, for, for example, for example, like, um, if I just, and this is like, I guess, a way uh, when you do kind of first impressions, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I say that I'm a, I'm a recruiter mm -hmm. and I'm a river rafting guy. You know, I yeah. say that to, to kind of everybody, and it's true. It's mm -hmm. That's what I do. Um, but also just... Like, recruiter is, is very common. And so a lot of people are like, I recruiter, okay, big deal. But if I set, if I attach the river rafting guide, um, th then they're like, what? Yeah. Whoa. Why? <laughs> eh, nani? Eh, hoto, <laughs> hoto ga? Right? Yeah. So I guess you want to at least have a passion attached to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and be and always be proud of what you're doing. Even yeah, if you're in English important. teaching and you don't maybe if you love English teaching then live it up. Yeah. If yeah. you don't like English teaching but you're doing it, still portray yourself in a positive light. Mm -hmm. it, I think. It's just the way they say it. they say, Oh I'm teaching English, that's great, but they say, Oh, I just teach English. No? Very good point, very good point. Because they're already like kinda devaluing themselves. Yeah. Like I if you if you're going to a meetup um, like you know, this is uh, this is actually how we know each other. Um, and she's I think going to one, <laughs> going on today, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't say it. Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I do believe, yeah, it's it's also like especially in Japan when people are trying, you know, a lot of people in Tokyo are always trying to make make friends. Yeah. It's a tough place. It's tough to socialize. It is. Do you think so? Yeah. Why is that? Well, I, I kind of felt. Well, I felt like Japan is very kind of like everybody's in their own box. Really? Right? It's it's kind of tough to kind of break through that sometimes. Um, I meant like socializing. Like it's easy for me to meet people, but mm -hmm. really become friends with people, it's uh, a little yeah. bit tougher. You gotta get you know, meeting a lot. With yeah. Them, like personally. That that's what I meant. I mean, yeah, I can walk up to anybody on the street and meet them, but I meant <laughs> become friends. Yeah, this is it. It is easier for me maybe, and. Um, I think going back to the point of like kind of uh, when you first talk to people, mm -hmm. um, how you present yourself is a big deal mm -hmm. um, yeah. in Japan, and it doesn't it doesn't it's okay to be an English teacher. It's okay yeah. to be a plumber. You could be the best plumber in the yeah. world, but it's also to, but but showing people that you love what you're doing. I and think is the like, biggest oh, thing. I teach English. Yeah. I love Japan. And and that's kind of like when I was teaching English, I was a big fan. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm teaching English. It's awesome. I'm having a good time. When I was, I taught English to, to kids, to adults, mm -hmm. to old people. I taught, the, the, fun, the best one I ever had was teaching English to a hair salon. Hair salon? Yeah, it was the most, best paying too. Hair they, salon? I would have to get in at, it was early, it was like a 6 a.m. every Friday to go to this hair salon because they wanted to become more oh, international. I see. And I teach their whole, their whole company English. Really? And for an hour. And, but it wow. would give me like a whole day's salary. It was awesome. Dang. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun, and I got free haircuts. <laughs> okay. I think it's good, but... <laughs> um, so, how would you recommend for foreigners on... How would you recommend foreign... Oh, let me stop.